Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let us discuss sampling theorem, Nyquist rate and aliasing. In the previous video, we have seen PCM that is pulse code modulation. Pulse code modulation is a modulation technique which takes the analog signal as input and convert into a digital form. So we are going to get the digital data finally. So here it takes the PCM encoder. The PCM encoder is going to process the data by sampling the data and then it is going to quantize and then finally encoding. Here we need to understand how this sampling is going to work. Sampling theorem and Nyquist rate. If we consider a baseband signal like this, the frequency of the baseband signal will be considered as FM. If I take this as the frequency of this signal, the sampling theorem says a band limited analog signal can be sampled and perfectly reconstructed from its samples if the sampling frequency is at least twice the maximum frequency of the baseband signal. Let us consider FM is the maximum frequency of the baseband signal. So if we consider the sampling frequency is FS, it should be greater than two times the FM. If this is the frequency, the samples what we are going to take here from this particular signal, it should occur more than the frequency of the signal. That is what the meaning is. Let us look into it in detail. Nyquist rate is that the minimum rate at which signal can be sampled without introducing errors when we are reconstructing that. So here Fs is the sampling frequency. It can be written as 1 divided by Ts. So Ts can be written as 1 divided by Fs. Here the sampling rate denotes the number of samples I am going to take within a single cycle. That is how we are going to say the sampling theorem and the Nyquist rate. Let us understand this. Suppose if this is my signal, it will be having a frequency of 1 hertz. If 1 hertz signal in the sense, it will be having 1 cycle per second. From here to here, I am going to consider it as a 1 cycle and it, be, it will be taking 1 second. This means a 1 hertz signal is. Suppose if I am going to take the sampling frequency fs as same as the 1 hertz signal, I am going to get one sample over here, another sample over here and then another sample over here. So 0, 0, 0 will be my output. So it is difficult to reconstruct back this signal. Suppose if my signal is again having fm is equal to 1 hertz, if I am going to take the twice of that as a sampling frequency, I am going to take it as 2 hertz. 2 hertz in the sense the sampling points will be lies over here twice the frequency of the baseband signal i am taking so i am going to get two more signals in between so again i am going to get values constant values and these are zeros again suppose if i am going to take the sampling frequency more than fm more than 2 fm what happens i am going to get the signals somewhere here Likewise, I am going to get the signals. So here I am going to get different variations in signals. This is my sampling. This is my sampling point. These are the sampling points so that I am going to get different signals at different sampling period. So this will be easy for the reconstruction. So we say the sampling theorem says Fs should be greater than 2Fm. And if we consider an analog signal or an AC signal, we say if it is an audio one, it will be having more variations. If you take the sampling frequency, it is equal to 2 hertz. It is difficult to reconstruct this signal. That's why we need to have more variations in our discrete time signal. So we need to consider Fs more than 2 FM so that we are going to get the actual AC signal when we are going to reconstruct it. So the next one is aliasing. Aliasing is a effect of sampling. You can observe here. It is a effect of sampling that causes different signal to become indistinguishable. Means due to aliasing what happens when we are reconstructing the signal from the samples, it may become different than the original one. If my input is this and I am sampling it in this way and I am going to get some code. If I am going to reconstruct it, it will be not like this. It will be something like this. If this happens, that will be called as aliasing. When aliasing is going to occur, when we are keeping the sampling frequency less than 
the maximum twice the maximum frequency of the input signal or the baseband signal so to avoid aliasing what we are supposed to do we need to keep the sampling frequency more than twice the frequency of the baseband signal or we say if it is an analog signal we need to choose the maximum frequency of that signal and twice the maximum frequency we need to keep our fs that is the sampling frequency so we can avoid aliasing by using these two methods applying a low pass filter it will be generally called as anti aliasing filter to the input signal before sampling and when converting signal from higher to the lower sampling rate and similarly sampling the signal at higher rate than the nyquist rate that will be also an method to avoid aliasing these two are the points we need to remember to avoid aliasing while sampling and quantizing a ac signal thank you